one of my favorite things to eat. Also one of the easiest things you can make. If you can bake a potato, then you can make gnocchi. The key to a good gnocchi is using russet potatoes. Once they're baked, the flesh inside becomes nice, light, and fluffy, which is exactly what I want to get nice, light pillows. So just hinge the potatoes. Not gonna use the skins, you're just gonna scoop out the flesh. For these, pass them through a ricer. The rest of that moisture in the potato is gonna steam out. Make a little well in the center. The egg's gonna act as a binder for all this and then make them really light. I don't wanna have the egg directly on the potatoes because the potatoes are hot. What that's gonna do is scramble the egg. As with everything, season in layers. And the one little ingredient that's gonna bring this over the top is a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg. When adding the flour, it's important to remember, you can put it in, but you can't take it out. Now it's just a matter of kneading it into a smooth dough. Break this off into quarters, start rolling out my gnocchi ropes. You know, you wanna start in the center, move out to the edges, and you want something that's gonna be about as thick as your index finger. All right, there are two schools of thought here. Some people like ridges on your gnocchi. You can do it on the back of it. There's little gnocchi boards you can buy, or you can do it on the back of a fork. Check this out, Julian. Me personally, I'm a pillow guy. I'm just scooping them onto a floured tray. Thank you. Gnocchi lends itself to almost any type of sauce, but my personal favorite and the favorite of my son's is sage butter. Starting in a medium pan, just wanna add a good amount of butter. You don't wanna brown it, just wanna let it melt. To that, I'm gonna add my sage leaves. And basically, just like that, the sauce is done. Boiling salted water. Once the gnocchi goes in, as soon as it floats, it's finished. So once you start to get a nice sizzle on the stage in the butter, the pasta water is full of starch, which is gonna end up thickening the sauce. Gnocchi are all floating now. Scoop those into the pan. Gnocchi is the star of this dish. The sauce is the condiment. It's all about these little pillows. You don't want to have too much, just enough so it's coating each individual dumpling. Hit a lemon juice, just because it is very rich, to cut through everything, and obviously, the final layer of salt. Give this a second just to tick away. Let's go have a taste. Last thing to tie all this together is to have really, really good quality olive oil. Gnocchi with sage brown butter. Amazing. Amazing.